Hello there, welcome along to Ringside State of the Week. Another busy one. Johnny and I are joined by the former world welterweight champion. Now up at 154 pounds and an electric performance, Kell Brook, Saturday night. I bet you are so pleased to be back. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Uh, like I said, I went straight back to the gym. I've not put much on. Uh, I'm down here. I'm enjoying life, Adam. Enjoying it. Uh, obviously, obviously, the guys from the gym know what you walk about and what you fight, what you train at. Did you feel coming up to fight week more comfortable than you usually do? Did it, did it, did it change you mentally, physically? How did, how did it feel coming up to fight week? It was a lot different because I weren't thinking about the way I'm going to. Because I always, am I going to make the weight? Mm. It's, it's a miracle how I make 147 every time. But for this one, I knew I run the weight. I didn't worry about the weight. I just worried about. You know the fight. Mm. What I'm gonna do in the fight? You know, getting. I got a good night's sleep. I got a nice, a nice little power hour before the fight. I was so relaxed. I felt so alpha. And uh, you could see in the fight that the power, the accuracy is there. And I felt so, so alpha at, at, at the new weight. Yeah, it was a terrific display, Cal, in front of a big crowd again. They, they came out to see you. What about the nerves? What did he feel like? You know the. The old tune coming in, and it, I mean, it was all on the line. Yeah, it was all on the line. You know, me, if, I, if, if it would have gone wrong, it would have been the end of me. You know, so it was like my first fight. I was I were huffing and puffing backstage. Nerves, <laughs> felt nervous. You know, it's not the biggest stage I've been on, but I, I felt nerves, you know, but uh, I think that made me perform better. Um, I, it rolled it roll there. It rolled there for me, and I just went out there, and uh, I settled right into it. And uh, I just, I just, I just dealt, I dealt with a, with a guy in front of me. Did you, did you, so the guy in front of you, uh, <coughs> did you, Rabchenko, did you feel that, that extra weight? Did you feel, did he punch harder than most welterweights do? Did you feel physically, did he feel physically stronger when it comes into the clinches? Because no, he's not world tier, but now you're fighting guys that that weight around that. Did you, how did you well, feel? He felt strong. You know, his record shows that he's got the same knockout percentage as me, so he can definitely punch. You know. He can punch, but I, I just felt very comfortable. I felt like when, when we got close, I had the strength. Mm. Like I said, you know, it's I've got the height, the reach, the power. I can deal with anyone at that weight with my power. So I, I felt in control. I felt like, I, you know, I felt the bigger guy in there. I felt the bigger guy at the new weight. Mm. And uh, like I said, I felt physically strong and I just, I just took care of the of, of the kid. And what was that feeling like immediately afterwards? What sort of buzz was it? Obviously not like winning the world title in America, but it must it must be a pretty good one. Yeah, I felt I felt awesome after, you know, after I got the win. After I got the win, I just felt relieved, you know, that I got the first one out of the way. I went think, you know, it's all right sparring with these guys, the bigger guys in the gym, but getting in there, what am I gonna, am I gonna be thinking about the eyes? I didn't. How am I gonna feel about it? Just, when, when when they called the fight off, I just went, you know, to the corner and I just felt, I felt yes, I've got it still. It's all still there, mm. and much more. And, and obviously this this sets up so much, you know, the, the world champions, uh, Jamel Charlo and others uh, at that weight, and of course the the big fight with Amir Khan that we all hope will be made at some point, maybe this year. What's the immediate future? As you say, back in the gym, you're looking great. Back you want to fight gym, again? Back, don't you? back in the gym. The gym's back to white where. Mm. No, I don't know if it was quite as like when Johnny and me were about, but it's getting there. The buzz is there. We all got wins at the weekend. We're all, we're all up, we're all back in the gym training, laughing again. You know, I want to get back in the gym. I want to fight again. You know, get my feet under the table at 154. And, you know, who knows uh, Amir Khan fighting, uh, Greco, you know, in, in April. I'm You'll gonna be, be there, I'm, I'm sure. Gonna be there. <laughs> I'm going to be there. We, can we make it happen this year? <laughs> Let's see. Let's get, get, get the record straight. Is there any reason why you think that fight, as far as you're concerned, can't happen? I, don't, you and I think that I think that he, you know, he would he, he wants to fight. I believe he does want the fight. You know, we all know I want the fight. You know, but uh, the people around him and stuff. I just hope that, you know, he, he's not he's not he's not booked for two years. He got he got he got beat in his last fight. Yeah, we're in this we're in the same boat. You know, we need we need we need to. You know, we need to put as egos to one side and, and fight each other to see, you know, to to give the fans. I've just come down here on the train to London, and everyone's, you know, 
congratulated me on the win, but after that, when are you fighting him, Khan? When are you fighting Khan? <laughs> I'm sure he gets it as well. He, so, sure, he gets it. So I'd just like to fight him and uh, and, and not get these people asking me. It's one I'll... of those those fights that, that has to happen. Of course, we never saw your old stablemate, Junior Witter, tackle Ricky Hatton, which was one we missed. And I think for the fans, yes, they wanted to see it two, three years ago. But look, you're both back. You're both under the matchroom banner. This can be made now. It kind of, you know, I've, I've got through Matthew Tess. He's got his. You know, we, we both need to win. And uh, we need to, to get it on. <laughs> we need to get it on, Adam. We need to get it on. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Um, let's talk about the heavyweights, because obviously you, you stayed up, I think, and watched the, the great fight between Wilder and Ortiz. Johnny and I, I were lucky enough to be there and sample the atmosphere mm. in Brooklyn, which was, was fabulous. What a, what a terrific tear-up. And, and it's, just a, it's just great for the division at the moment. Oh, I had everything in that fight. Um, Ortiz is obviously a southpaw, so... Wilder will find it awkward the first few rounds, warming into it, you know. Then it, then he got hurt, and we see, we seen Wilder hurt, you know. Uh, we seen him, we seen him hurt, but the best thing about it, he come through that, you know. He was so determined to to win, and you know how he speaks, he's so, he's got he's got so much energy. He went in there and and, and he beat and he beat the man down, he, he, you know. He, he beat he beat him, and and Ortiz is not no 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 numpter. He, he's a solid fighter. What do you think? Uh... Um, Anthony Joshua will think of that performance. Will he, will he look at like, the fans and get all ga giddy and excited about what he saw? Will he think it's a pushover, 15 stone four, done to Wilder again in the ring? If, if I were watching that, you know, I'd, I would be worried. I would be worried because mm. it shows you that he can be hurt and he, he don't fold. He's, pa he's passed another test that he can be hurt. He can come back and he's so determined. He's got that power in any hand to knock you out. And he really does believe, you know, the hype. And it's not a hype job. He is the man. You know, but we've got AJ, who was also the man who, who come through the Klitschko, you know, fight. He got hurt as well, and he came through and done it. But I just think I, I can't say it's Wilder or, or AJ. That's the fight that we're all going to really get excited about. We were talking uh, off camera earlier about AJ and Parker, though, and, and you've got an interesting thoughts on that one. You, you think it's a real toughy, don't I you? I think it's real tough. I've been watching him training. You know, and uh, I, you know he's he, he can punch and he's he's got the moves. You know that he can do 12 rounds at that pace. He's, you know he's gonna he's gonna be horrible. He's gonna be horrible for Anthony Joshua. And I know that Anthony Joshua trains very hard every fight and does does everything right. But this guy's this guy's a champion. This guy's no joke at all. This guy means serious business. He wants to he wants to get the titles off AJ. Do you think uh, uh, we, the, the public, or, or even AJ, will <coughs> do what we almost did at the weekend and forget about the Ortiz opponent and thought this is a done deal? Uh, Wilder would isn't, he'd, he'd get he'd win and fight AJ. Are we, are we looking past Parker? I think a lot of the fans are looking past Parker. They, they just automatically think Anthony Joshua is the man he can walk through with these guys with ease. You know, and it's not the case. We all know that in boxing, anything can happen. But this guy's not just a, a normal, a normal guy. This guy's a world champion. This guy's coming here, and he's he's coming he's coming to bring it. He's, he's got he's trained hundred percent for it. He's, you know, he's, he's not like a challenger. He's a champion himself. He knows what it takes. This is his opportunity. This is his isn't opportunity. It? Yeah. He's going to show. He's going to. He wants to show everyone. Right. You know, the world that he's the man in this division. Fascinating, just three and a half weeks <clears throat> away. Josh Kelly being announced as uh, a part of the undercard, uh, making waves at your old weight. Do you like the look of him? I, I like the look of him. He's got <laughs> the move with uh, Adam Booth. He's very, very sharp. I like the look of the guy. I do too, you. Josh Kelly, I'm a massive fan of his. I think uh, Adam Booth, he doesn't, he doesn't go mad about uh, all of his fighters, and he's one fighter that uh, he's got Adam Booth. Boots passion, uh, and I, I get him. I like him. I like everything about him. He's, he's a potential superstar as long as he keeps his feet on the ground. Looks world class, doesn't he? We've got, of course, Dylan White and Lucas Brown before AJ Parker, and we've got a big one this weekend too. Out in LA, Scott Quigg with a real chance, but it's a tough one for the world title against this uh, Oscar Valdez. Uh, he's going to give it everything, Scott, as always. Can he bring the title home? He can. He can bring it home. You know, he, we know he gives it everything. You know. Um, we're just gonna have to see what what he's got left. I believe that he can go out there and, and win this win this fight. It's a very it's very tough fight, but it's it's up to him to go out there to deal with deal with the situation. He's in fighting fighting away. 
you know, I'm sure that he, sure that he will and uh, give it his all. I'm worried about his style because, like you went junior, uh, he, he'd gone away after he lost to Billy Joel Saunders. He'd improved as a fighter, but not as a boxer. Uh, uh, Scott Quigg has gone over to, to, to Los Angeles to train with Freddie Roach. He's improved again as a fighter, but I haven't seen anything yet for him to prove, improve as a boxer, and that's, that's something well, that he's got drag Valdez in, hasn't he? Yeah, I'm with you with that, you know, but I, I think that. I think Gallagher were better, mm. you know, better than, than Freddie for him. You know, like you say, I, I don't think he's improved. I don't think he's improved quick. I think, like you, like you said, in the boxes, I don't think he's improved. He can fight and he can slug it out, you know, in the, in the wild card gym. That's what, you, that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to get all day long. He needs to, you know, smart and he's boxing up more. But he can win for you? He can still win. He can still win because he's, you know, he's got that winning mentality. He's got, he's, he's got, he's got it Johnny. to dog it out. Valdez is no fool. I think Valdez has done his homework. He'll know what has to. He'll have to box fight, and uh, he knows he's, if he gives a man to stands in front of him to have a fight with him, he's making the fight too easy. So I think Valdez will, will probably try and pick punch first, and then then step it up the second half of the fight. We've got to mention the elephant in the room, and that's uh, the failed drug test of uh, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, stunned us all. What do you read into it? It's it's a bit hard to read into it at minute, you know. With, with this me, it's just like thinking. Of, when I, when I hear about it, it just it's sickening, you know, to what 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 he's achieved and everything. It just it just puts a black mark underneath it. What he's done, how long has he been doing this thing for? Mm. You know, it's horrible to 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 read. Actually, it's horrible. Contaminated meat, that's what they're saying. A lot of the Mexican athletes' possibilities. Will the fight go on? Maybe. Uh, I've talked to Tom Loeffler, the Golovkin side, waiting to see what happens. Obviously, tough for them, too. Uh, a shock, a uh, complete shock. I'm surprised. Uh, and just, listen, we're going to have to take his word for it uh, and, and see what uh, what comes out of their investigations. We'll have to take his word for it. Uh, but with him, uh, I, I still think he's a rated fighter. I still think he's uh, uh, got everything you could ask of a, such a talented individual. It's a sad state of affairs. Uh, if it's true and he, he's, he's tried to cut corners and cheat, then that so be it. He has to suffer the consequences. If his excuse. Uh, uh, for, for where it's come from is, is proven, then we've got to forget it and move on. Let's leave the last word with <coughs> Kel. What's the ambition that's still burning uh, inside you this stage of your career after that win on Saturday night? To become two-time world champion. <laughs> two-time world champion. I found myself. My mojo is back. <laughs> My mojo is back. I'm loving the, I'm loving the game again. Um, Keep keep them fights coming. I want them world. I'm, I put them all on notice. Then for 154 pounders, I'm here to stay. It's great to see you looking so happy, so well. Congratulations on last weekend, uh, Johnny and I. will be back, of course. So much happening uh, in this March period uh, for boxing. We've also announced in April as well. We'll be showing Adrian Broner's uh, next fight live. That's April the 21st, the same night that Kel will be in Liverpool for Amir Khan's comeback. Also, Adonis Stevenson and Badu Jack. May the 19th, another date for your diaries. It should be a super spring here on Sky. Sky Sports. Feel it all.